Hey guys, it's your girl Melanie, and I wanted to, I did not talk about the Monique and D.L. Hughley situation, just because it wasn't really my my, my cup of tea, um, it was just comedians going after each other about a contract, but this gets into a lot of what I talk about on my channel. Um, I think Monique is a case study in um, the Bitter Auntie Chronicles, and where it just erodes your mind, and she's alienated pretty much every person um, and there were for a time, there were things I thought Monique was right about, but as time has gone on, she's just shown herself to be super toxic. And now she's once again, bringing in almost like this, you know, patriarchy message, which had nothing to do with their dispute or whatever she was claiming, which she was just being trifling about in my opinion. Um, and so she used his daughter she went on social media and posted this video about his daughter, okay? But then Dio Hughley responds, and we're going to see, we're going to listen to Monique, and then we're going to listen to D.L. Hughley. Now, I got this off of, if you see the new collection, you see all that up there. That's for a guy's um, uh, channel called Yelm, Yelm Stacy. Um, make sure you check him out. I'll post his um, original video below. Make sure you give him a like and go ahead and take a look at his channel. But uh, let's go ahead and, and watch this. Dressing the character of the man. When you really look into what is happening, when a man says, I was not strong enough to defend my daughter against a really, really good friend of mine because I didn't want to jeopardize the friendship, though he apologized, you have to ask yourself, what kind of demons is that man dealing with that he couldn't stand up to the predator of his child? Of his child. But that same man goes on his radio show and talks about people as if he was sitting in the meetings, as if he was making their life decisions, as if his opinion mattered in their choices. So when I say, listen y'all, it was important for me, for me, to make that post because there are so many little girls out there with daddies like DL. Okay, so, let me address it. Okay, so let me just say this. So this is what you hear this is what you see all the time. When a woman's wrong, when she's called out, she will move the goalpost. I bring up Amber Heard all the time because this is what happened with her. It wasn't enough, you know, was she, you know, to divorce him. She had to go the extra mile to claim that he committed DV against her. And then when that wasn't enough, she uh she spin she spun a narrative of how he, he, I mean, it was, it wasn't just, he, you know, did a little bit. It was like, she made it into like, he just completely assaulted her every day. Then when that wasn't enough, she ratcheted it up again, that he then graped her with a broken whiskey bottle. All of this was, you know, if you watch the trial, you saw that this was just complete falsehoods, manipulation. She was actually the one did that, that committed DV against him. And her lies were proven out in court and she couldn't even keep, keep them straight. Um, and this is what we see when a woman is wrong in these modern times, what they will do is they, rather than take their L rather than say, you know what, I, I was wrong. I, you know, I was out of pocket. It's, you know what, you can't be wrong. What, you know, it, it, it's, it's always something else. They have to move the move. So she wanted to garner more sympathy. She wanted more people on her side that DL is and spin this narrative that DL Hughley is this really bad man that hates women. And he wouldn't even protect his own daughter from a friend who raped his own daughter. What kind of man, what kind of father, this is where she's going. What kind of father would let a man do this, that, and the other. So she decided to introduce his daughter into the narrative because she wasn't winning in the court of public opinion. And so she needed to, to uh, make sure that she can get people to see that this is a man of low character and low morals and low value. And he's so weak that he will allow this to happen to his child and do nothing about it, could care less about it. This is the narrative that she tried to spin with this. OK, it had nothing to do with anything. And to bring a man's child, to bring people's children into adult issues, to bring you bring a, a, a person's child is gross enough. But then to talk about a child who was, you know, allegedly assaulted 
And then to try to use that to further an argument that this, I mean, this is about com com a comedian's contract. What does this have to do with anything? But see, it doesn't matter. Just throw anything out, throw everything to the wall and see what sticks. And that's exactly what she did. But let's continue. When y'all are asking me, is it okay to re-traumatize his daughter? Listen, y'all, let's stop playing this game. There's nothing I could say or do to re-traumatize that baby because the trauma has already set in. However, if we speak it out loudly and we say it to our community, maybe the next baby won't have to deal with the goddamn trauma. See, when I made that post, it was intentional. It was intentional. That was faith ever. Okay, so again, people are saying, why are you bringing up his daughter and what happened and you're re-traumatizing her and what does this have to do with anything? And she's now making it. It's no longer just a dispute with D.L. Hughley and about their contract and Then when he tried to do a good thing for her. Now she's trying to save all the babies in the community, okay, which is a noble thing, but it has nothing to do with this and her intentions are not good. And you're going to hear now the truth. So the way Monique was, was telling you is that this grown man violated his daughter and D.L. Hughley didn't want to ruin his friendship with this man. Rather than stand up to him and ruin his friendship, he would rather his daughter suffer in silence and, and be broken and, and, uh, and, uh, and, and he would rather his daughter be assaulted by his friend than for him to have to stand up to him. But let's go ahead and hear the truth because we know Monique uh, has a very hard time uh, telling the truth. You used to love me. So I know that I said that uh, I had done all I could hear about this whole Monique situation, but over the weekend, her and her husband released a video um, where uh, it, it, I was doing the interview and I uh, detailed my daughter's uh, sexual trauma. Uh, Monique has taken uh, that video and perverted it for her own uses. She's decided to add her own narrative. I will only say this, and I'm answering this now, uh, in response to a, a request from my daughter, who, who, of course, over the weekend was crying, of course, having her trauma, tried it out in front of the world. In a situation she had nothing to do with, that doesn't have anything to do with a contract, would be traumatizing to anybody, particularly when it's from somebody who claims to love us for real. Um, but she, uh, she proceeded to talk about how I let a man touch my child, which nothing could be further from the truth. They were both 13 years old. They were boy, they were, they were friends that had grown up together. She told me about it years uh, later. And when she told me about it, I, um, and, and this is something I lament to this day, denied that she, I said, well, you know, that's what kids do. Now that was my estimation of it. It was not her interpretation of it. She was hurt by that. And I, I will never forgive myself for not A, believing her and, and B, handling it the way I did. But for Monique, A, to put a man in that room, which never happened, and B, to bring up sexual trauma in an argument that has nothing to do with what you're talking about is unconscionable. My, my daughter Tyler addressed it, my daughter Ryan addressed it with her in a letter. And the thing that I was most proud about in the letter is not only that she held her held high because she's, she's supposed to, the other thing is she said there are legitimate things you could have gone after my father about because my children know exactly who I am. They know, they know that I'm not perfect. They know that I'm flawed. And none of them would have a problem with you assailing things that are really true. But you and your husband putting a man in my daughter's room when that is not what I said and weaponizing and using in a trite argument shows exactly how low you are. You are a monster. You literally are. You didn't play Precious. You, let, you didn't play Precious's mother. You let her out. You stopped pretending to be human and you won a role for being exact. You won a grand uh, Oscar for being exactly who you are. Who says they love women and are there for women and protect the babies and would trot out someone's sexual trauma just to use in an argument? I don't know anything about you. I know that what happened to you uh, when you were a child, what happened to you uh, when you were growing up, those things are, 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 are traumatic to you. And I would never bring them up. Never. It would never occur to me to do it because that's not where I live. That's not what I do. You have had this argument or this 
show be about everything. It was about a contract. It was not. It was about an insult on the radio station, uh, on my radio station. The question never aired. You know it never aired. And you continue to have this. And then you have the temerity to answer my daughter's letter with, a, with, with an invitation to come on my show. I will never let you on my show. Never. You will never talk to my children. I will never have anything to do with me. You do not exist. Maybe leaving my children out of your mouth will leave you room for the food you love so much. Look, you can continue to do whatever you want to me. That is, that is, that is fair game. I'm in this business. For you and your husband to continue to do things like this, you have already, first it was a contract. You've, you've attacked everything. My, the dog, my wife, now my children, enough. Enough. You do not exist to us. You, you don't get to break my family. You don't get to do that. I don't know if you ever had a man who loved you as much as I love my children. I don't know if you've ever had anybody who's standing in your stead because the man next to you damn sure ain't doing it. All he's doing is wrecking what's left of the rubble of a career that you're pretending to build, tr trying to build back. Leave my children alone. Stay with me and we're fine. You're a horrible woman. You love women like Ike loves Tina. Now that girl over there, well, I shouldn't call you a girl, this woman over here, you know one thing for sure. I love you. And I'd never let it. And I'm your daddy for real. And you don't have to pay me for it. <laughs> one day I hope that you're happy and you can stop being such a miserable, low human being. Maybe one day you will get to be as small as you often act. That's a little note from the GED section. We've got the Jazz Report coming up in 15 minutes. It's the D.L. Hughes. <laughs> for for you to handle your business so go ahead and, and leave that so you can see um yelm stacy's uh comments on on this uh again he's going to be linked below but this is what i mean like she is so out of pocket and she had she did not know the facts of the story she had no idea what she was talking about but see they would use anything weaponize she would even weaponize his children weaponize his child's trauma weaponize what went on with a family story weaponize uh him as a father impugn his character as a man as a father and make it and spin it in a way so that she's finally right. It does not matter what else there is. It does not matter what the, what they were disputing about. It doesn't matter what really happened. As long as I can spin it and weaponize it so that I, at the end of the day, I am right. My need to be right. Shame, insults, guilt, and the need to be right. Sign language. And this is what we see right here. So anyway, guys, make sure you leave a comment. Let me know what you think and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one.